Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck Some nights I call it a draw Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle Some nights I wish they just fall off But I still wake up, I still see a ghost Oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I see Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Well, welcome back to Swagger for another exciting year. As you all know, we focus on making sure that you meet the academic requirements to move to the next grade. There are three big things that we're going to talk about. One is attendance. If you're not here, how can you learn? If you're not here, you may face truancy court. You don't want to go to truancy court. That's not fun. If you're not here, you may have to go to Saturday school to make up the time you missed. That wouldn't be fun either. So the biggest thing is make sure you're here at school. Now, if you're sick and barfing, stay home. Don't come to school. But if it's, oh, I got a tummy ache, you need to be at school. School is the place where you learn. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pagel, and this is my office, and I'm in charge of ID. So when you lose your ID after you get them on September 4th, which is picture day. Um, please make sure you carry your ID with you at all times because it is part of your uniform. First one is free and the rest after that is $5. Hello Swigert students, we're here with the Counselor's Corner again and we have a couple things we just want to remind you about. First of all, um, you know we have those schedule changes coming up for mm. period six, yeah? Yeah. And students need to make sure that they're here on Tuesday, September 15th. Because during first period they get a ballot. Mm to pick what kind of an enrichment or a fun RTI class they might get, they might like to have. Well, what are some of the fun classes? Hmm. Just a couple of examples. There's one, they're gonna be working on comic books, some comic book stuff. There's, um, they're gonna be studying the history of weapons and building some paper weapons. There's show choir, um, creative writing. There's some really cool stuff. Yeah, we've had creative writing for a couple of years now. We have. I wish all students could in, get in there, but unfortunately, students who need an intervention in math or reading will not have that period six option at this point. They'll still fill out a form, so when they earn their way out of their intervention class, then they can go into something really fun. But you must be sure you're here on Tuesday, September 15th during period one to fill out that form. That's the only day you get a chance to do that. So, um, last week I talked to you about the pre-collegiate program for middle school students. Just to give you an example of what the application looks like, this is the application for middle school students to complete pre-collegiate, meaning that it is an opportunity to participate in classes that you might attend after graduating from high school. So, well, you don't have to wait until after you graduate from high school. You can actually participate in college-related activities as a middle school student. If you think this is something that you would like to do, please come by and see me, and I will be more than happy to go over some of the requirements and give you an application. Also, there will be a visitor from UCCS coming to visit us on September 24th, which is a Thursday, to give us more information. So if you have met with me and you have an application or you want an application, you'll also get to meet a representative from UCCS to ask more detailed questions. 
What are some of the main qualifications? Well, some of the main qualifications include having or being able to maintain a GPA of 2.5. GPA means grade point average, so you have to do pretty well in your classes. 2.5 is about a C average, uh, although a B average or an A average would even be better. And then you have to be willing to write a 300 word essay as well on why you think a college education is important. That's what we have for us today. <laughs> um, we'll see you next week. Hey kiddos, guess what? We have a challenge from Skate City. If we get 200 skaters, we get $400. So I need to see you at Skate City on Friday. That is the 19th, next Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday from 6 to 10. I will be there for those that lose their passes, but you'll be getting those passes in six period. And make sure you bring those with you because you can get your pizza, your hot dog, your four hours of skating, and a drink as well as fun time with your friends for five dollars. See you there. Next to you. I cast a spell. Where's the Mountain Dew? In the fridge, duh. I want to cast a spell. Can I have a Mountain Dew? Yes, you can have a Mountain Dew, just don't get it. I can cast any of these, right? On the list? Yes, any any of the first level ones. I'm gonna get a soda. Anyone want one? Hey, Graham, I'm not in the room, right? What room? I want to cast Magic Missile. Studio 42 meets on Thursdays in room 135. We'll see you there. Or else. Those students who are interested in soccer that signed up on Friday, the practice is today after school. Make sure when you are down in the gym after school, you are doing what you're supposed to, sitting and waiting for Mr. Mulvey to come down there. Again, practice after school, 4 o'clock, today. Be there. Hey guys, Coach Kevin Meyer here. I got Gabriel Brock here and Michael Robles. Gabriel Brock, city champion last year. Michael Robles, city champion last year, okay? We're gonna do the move of the week right here. We're gonna do a double leg. Michael's gonna do it on Gabe. Gabe's gonna do it on Michael. Wrestling camp still going on Monday through Friday. Feel free to come out Monday through Friday so you can learn this move, okay? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, the nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.